the Blam Sports presentation of the NBA Playoff Simulation. That's right. We're doing every single game for the entire NBA Playoffs right here on Twitch and on our website, blamsports.com live. Game four up next, Bucks and Heat. Bucks are leading the series 2-1. Heat won the first game. Bucks have won the last two. They're on a bit of a winning streak. Will they make it three in a row, or will the Heat tie up this series? Game four next. Butler leading the way for the Heat, and of course Giannis. For the Bucks, game four is up next. Remember, go to our website, chaplamsports.com, for all your stats, series, and information. Just click on simulation, click on NBA, and you'll get everything there. Enjoy game four, folks. Remember, we're all over social media, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit. Check us out on YouTube as well. Enjoy the game. the Miami Heat at American Airlines Arena. For the Heat, a withering loss in Game 3. They'll have to play much better tonight. We'll see if they can steady themselves and get it done. And when you're entering a borderline must-win game, Dave, if you're the coach of this team, well, give me your best coach. Well, I'm going to bring it into, bring it in, guys, bring it in. So listen up. You know, we can't change anything that we've done. We've gotten here for a reason. There's no reason to change what you've done. Let's go! You're good enough. Yeah. You're good enough Nine. right now. Let's play! Right now. Yeah, right like, here. Play. Right now. You could be anywhere in the world. Are you talking Put you right us? here. Are you talking Put you right here. Look. And I'm an assistant coach. Maybe this team needs a little pressure. Playing without urgency is helping put them in this situation. Maybe pressure could get them out of it. Ready? Let's go. One, One two, two, three. Team. team. the scenes action the team preparing for perhaps its biggest game of the season so far right here on 2k sports coming to you tonight from the american airlines arena with a look high above here in miami 2k sports here to present you the nba eastern conference semifinals it's game four and one that could go down in the books this is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Well, almost all of the Greek Freak's points come in the paint. Giannis said, I can already do a lot of damage basically without a jump shot. Just driving, making plays, and free throws. When that jump shot comes, it's going to be a problem for a lot of players in this league. Kevin? <laughs> You're right, D.A. It'll be scary. Thanks. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Then there's Bledsoe, then it's Brooke Lopez, and it's DiVincenzo in at the two. And for Miami, Jay Crowder out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Dragic, and it's Igudala in at the shooting guard position. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Giannis outside. Lutzo looking it over. Middleton for three. That shot missing. And the Heat going the other way now. They come into this one following a really disappointing game on Friday. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Here's DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. 
Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Back to Dragic, the three, the rebound by the Bucks. Middleton, right side. There's the pass to DiVincenzo. Bledsoe outside. Floats one. Here's Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. Giannis right now getting hard work done on the inside to get some extra possession. Iguodala outside. There's the dish to Dragic. Back to Iguodala. A floater. Giannis grabs the miss. I'll be honest, I thought there's no way that he's missing that close. That's a bunny. Give it up for the aggressive defense, Kevin. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Loads it up for Butler. Well placed, alley pass into the layup. Uh, some guys have a hard time finding their teammates in those possessions. Dragic is always looking the dish to get it to the open man. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Now Middleton. He's guarded by Dragic. And Middleton, the basket on the assist from Eric Bledsoe. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Butler. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Butler's got his second bucket. And Butler just exploits that pick-and-roll defense. A tough, physical guy who's hard to guard in those sets. And Bledsoe, here we go, banked in off the glass. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Rockets the pass to Butler. On the wing, it's Iguodala. Let's it fly from 18. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper, just unable to do so. Pass to Lopez. This one for three. Goran Dragic grabs the board. The Heat trail by eight. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Puts it up from 12, and that one's good by Butler. Butler's got six points. And this is Butler's bread and butter. The mid-range J is on point. Got to be him up better than that. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. here for Milwaukee. Iliasova, he's checked in for Lopez. Williams comes in for Antetokounmpo. Wesley Matthews checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, you don't want to leave Middleton from that area. His mid-range game is on fire, draining those shots often. Here's Dunn. Off the left rim and out. Milwaukee leading by eight. Hill passes to Williams, and it's Williams throwing it down. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, dominant so far, that's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. One twenty-nine left to play in the first quarter. Middleton against Jones. Pocket six. None passes to Robinson. And here's Olenek from the arc. And they've had chances to score inside, just unable to convert. And he recovers it. And the offense early on limited to just jump shots. 
Hill looking around. The 11-footer and another basket for Milwaukee. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. 46 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's none. There's the killer two-handed slam. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Middleton can't get it to go. The Heat trail by eight. Outside for Robinson. Back to Jones. Good ball movement here by Miami. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Olenek inside, defended by Ilyasova. No good that time. Here's Hill. No good with the layup. And so the first quarter is in the books. Milwaukee on top, up by eight. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Tough nose Jimmy Butler talks about the mantle of being a franchise player. Sorry, whatever you want to call it, but um, with that comes a lot of, uh, you know, some people call it pressure, but uh, a lot of responsibility is what I call it. You know, every night you got to show up. You have to be productive. You have to show guys even when you're hurt, you can still play. Um, even when you're tired, you got to go out there and do what you're supposed to do. It's fun to me. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. And that's what he worked for. And he works as hard as anyone, Greg, in the NBA. And you see that competitiveness and desire in his play. And we welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Uh, well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. In the middle, it's Olenek in Adebayo. Then it's Jones. Then it's Robinson. And it's Nunn in at the point guard position. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Go into the rack with energy in the D, afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Speed burst that time from Middleton, a relentless penetrator, and not afraid to take the punishment. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws of this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Middleton. Middleton improving his game, improving his confidence, coming back after injury, and working to become better. Crowder, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Middleton hits them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Jones dishes to Robinson. The Heat need to get a shot off. Pulls from the top of the key. Good on that shot, and with that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Olenek. And they like him to be aggressive. I, mean, I think Olenek has the talent to be a difference maker offensively. Now, here's Matthews. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Middleton against Crowder. Shot from the top of the key. Matthews, no good. For Miami, they've got a nice 3-3 three three to start this up. Robinson goes in, and they pick up two. Remember, he played the point guard position for most of high school, so Olenek has retained that vision. Hill kicks to Ilyasov. And there.
here's the foul on Jay Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. So both teams making some changes here. Heat on D. Only giving up two points this quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. Good on the triple. DiVincenzo's got eight points. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. Rockets against Bledsoe. And here's Iguodala outside. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Bledsoe, and a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Now it's a seven-point Milwaukee lead. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Butler deciding where to go with it. No good from outside. Bucks leading by seven. To the inside. Down it goes. Nice one there from Ana de Kumbo. Again, floor vision from Eric Bledsoe makes dishing that basketball look easy. Rockets against Bledsoe. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Milwaukee's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Even Chenzo passes to Antetokounmpo, and the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. The Bucks making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And Miami calls their first timeout of the game. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Butler in the corner. Miami no good on that time either. Bucks leading by nine. Here's DiVincenzo. He's got eight. They get it back. Williams. And that's good. A nice job on the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. There he is. Beasting on the glass. Converting the opportunity. Trying to put this game away. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive class. Butler, no good. Here's Milwaukee now. They're rolling here with the nine-point run. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, I don't know how you deal with the length of a Tentacupo. I mean, his name is long enough, and then you look at the body. Milwaukee shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. We talk a lot about Russell Westbrook and the way that he attacks every game. I think in the Eastern Conference, Giannis Attentacupo might be the same way, just tenacious and full of energy. And he fills up the stats. And Miami making a change here. Adebayo's checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Lopez, he's checked in for Matthews. And he can't hit the second. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And it's Butler missing. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Great to see Attentacupo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but to foul him. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two. 
And that one misses. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. The Heat trail by 11. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. No good from Trogic. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Bledsoe dishes to Antetokounmpo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Bledsoe finds Giannis. Just five on the clock. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And the Heat call time here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. 44 seconds left now here in the second. Here's none. Guarded by Bledsoe. Butler against Williams. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from Butler. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Bucks. Lopez, right side, in the corner, Middleton with it. Lopez outside, shot clock at six. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Two open that time, made it look too easy. Wenzel's got the lead up to 14 now for Milwaukee. Here's Dunn, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. Excellent job by Bledsoe to alter the shot. Even as a point guard, you can still affect your opposition. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, here with Chris Middleton. Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just try to keep pressing the ball uh, and get stops. We know that's Coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Bucks, with a chance to take a commanding 3-1 lead in this series, they've got their foot firmly on the gas pedal tonight. A sensational first-half performance for them. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. And over to Shaq, what'd you think about Miami? Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all laid on their rotation. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. And you know I like eating that barbecue chicken. They gotta do better. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter, set to begin in just a few. Starting action from the Eastern Conference semifinals. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. They trail by 14. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Then there's Bledsoe. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two spot. 
and Milwaukee has possession. Lopez finds Giannis. Here's DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got his third assist on the night. Tough to contest when a guy that size can get the shot off that quickly. Middleton with a nice, quick release. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. Kumbo's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Crowder with the steal. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crowder. Bucks leading by 17. Wudzo for three. And it's Igudala with the rebound. Middleton against Butler. Now here's Dragic, guarded closely. No good on that one. The Bucks go the other way with it. Giannis inside. High to bio on him. Here's onto Takumbo. The shot's good. Giannis has got eight. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The Heat trail by 19. Outside Dragic kicks it to Crowder. To the paint, wants to get it to Adebayo and does. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's on Brooke Lopez. Miami shooting their first free throws here tonight. Free throw good, out of bio. A different look for Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez, and it's Ilya Silva in for Giannis under the Goomba. Makes both free throws. Bucks leading by 17. Ludzo passes to Lopez. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got his fifth rebound in this one. Shots good by Butler. And, and Butler loves getting close to the basket. Once he's down low, he, he uses that strength and quick release to get shots off. Now, here's Lopez. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Back to Bledsoe. Fires it up. That's good on the jump shot. Bledsoe does a nice job that time, Kevin, of just squaring himself up. That helps you stay in a rhythm. Now a timeout called by Miami. Kelly Olenek checked in for the Heat. Wesley Matthews checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Eric Bledsoe. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Pass to Crowder. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Crowder's got his first bucket of the night. Milwaukee leading by 15. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez. Iguodala with the steal. Andre Iguodala with the slam. 
That's something Iguodala would like to do just about every time, a good scorer around the rim. For Milwaukee, they've gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's DiVincenzo, the kick out to Hill, just five to shoot. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Hill's got his second bucket tonight. Well, he weasels his way to the inside there, and that little breathing room, that helped George Hill to score. Rogic dishes to Iguodala. The pass to Butler. Shoots it. Hill pulls it in. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Outside Butler, from 13, misses off the left iron. Milwaukee leading by 15. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. Outside Hill. From the wing. Iguodala with the rebound. Butler against Matthews. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. in for Robin Lopez, and Marvin Williams subbed in for Wesley Matthews. For Milwaukee, they've gone an even 50% to the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Passes it to DiVincenzo. The shot, no good. And the heat going the other way now. And now here comes Robinson leading the break. And the wide open shot from Crowder. Rebound by Williams. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Pass to DiVincenzo. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That free throw, no good. Autobio is checked in for Crowder. The Bucks also with the sub. Chris Middleton's checked in for Ilya Sova. No good on the second free throw. That's a, a strange trip because typically he's pretty much money from there. Robinson kicks to Jones. Pass to none. The train. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Now here is Hill. Middleton on the wing. The shot, no good. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be right back after this. Now 
now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you could do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the court for the Heat, in the middle, it's Olenek in Adebayo. Then it's Robinson, then it's Jones, and it's none in at the point. And it's the Heat with the ball, following the three from Eric Bledsoe. Robinson with it. Five on the clock. Here's Dunn. Rebounded by the Bucks. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Yeah, still possessing the athleticism. Williams is sensational at finding ways to throw it down. Here's none. Outside, Jones. The pass to Robinson. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. Terrific effort from him, really, all night. Yet despite his supreme marksmanship, they're still operating at a deficit. Outside Hill. Passes to Middleton. Lopez right side. Blutso outside. From the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And the Heat call time here. Eric Bledsoe really making a difference here. A smart move here, talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Jimmy Butler comes in for Olenek, and it's Iguodala in for Robinson. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Andrew Kumbos checked in. Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. Milwaukee leading by 15. Bloodso outside. High arcing shot. It doesn't go for him. The Heat go the other way with it. Pass to Iguodala. And Andre Iguodala with the slam. You know Andre Iguodala, if he gets a few steps, takes off from the launching pad. Hill passes to Andre Kumbo. Giannis is double. Now here's Middleton. Bloodsoe outside. From deep. Here's Giannis. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Iguodala, the pass to none. Pass to Jones. Iguodala deciding where to go with it. Kept alive. Here's Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. G.A. such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Eric Bledsoe. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. 
And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. The drive by Iguodala. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Uh, Andre Iguodala about as reliable as it gets. Steve Kerr calls him the adult in the room. And Iguodala drops them both. Now Giannis. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Down low. Lopez kicks to Giannis. The double clutch. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. First one falls for him. He hits one and misses one each at the line. The Heat trail by 14. Inside. And Adebayo throws it down. Iguodala can see everywhere on the floor. He keeps his eyes moving to find a teammate. Milwaukee has gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. On the wing, Giannis. Defended by Crowder. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Butler against Middleton. Outside Butler. Here's Autobio. Good D by Lopez. Now how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's face and then go and corral that backboard. And entering the final countdown, game four, effectively decided here, guys. This is just a tremendous accomplishment for Milwaukee. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three. It just seemed to pay off for him. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Giannis. And the way he rebounded, he surely Five. was a spark for the team Elbow. as he was securing Two. everything that came off the iron. Jay Two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one.
Both shots good from the strike. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Connaughton on the way, Corver. Puts up a three, and it's Miami with the rebound. Here's none. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You can see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For Greg Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports Group. We'll see you next time. A solid win for the Bucks in Game 4. They take the Series 3-1 now. Game 5 in two days. Don't miss out. Roughly always 8.45 p.m. Eastern, 5.45 p.m. Pacific. Bucks took a fairly big lead by the end of the first quarter and didn't let up from there. They just consistently had that 10-point lead for their duration of the game. Giannis and the Bucks up 3-1 now on the Heat. Remember, go to our website, jablamsports.com, for all your stats, series, and information. Of course, league leaders, team stats, game stats, they're all on there. When you go to our website, jablamsports.com, click on simulation, then NBA, and you'll get all that. Of course, our games are live on there as well here on our Twitch. And, of course, we're all over on social media. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Reddit, of course. Come back again tomorrow. We're continuing this round two of the NBA playoff simulation. Always 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Raptors and 76ers. Game five tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss out. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Stay home, stay safe, be healthy. And we're bringing this to you for all you thirsty sports fans out there. Also, Jablam Sports, we're also doing podcasts now. We're in our first season of our hockey podcast, and we just started up our wrestling podcast. So check that out. Wherever you find podcasts, type in Jablam Sports, and you'll get that on wherever you have your podcasts. Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, you name it. Have a good night, folks.